just in the water. We don't know if he's alive. Is he dead? Is he sinking? Like, what's happening? Hey guys, Lexi here for your Season 7, Episode 4, The Spoils of War recap. Austin is a book reader. Yes, I am. he's I a am. book reader. I've read the books, so we got like the juicy good stuff. I love, I like having book readers. Yeah, the ba like the a lot of background information. What were your thoughts on the whole battle? It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the yeah, awesome. Yeah, the best episode the ever. <laughs> I will say the dragons. I was waiting for that for like two seasons now, and you finally yeah, see it. It's awesome. It was like a sea of horses, right? Like just a wave of these guys coming through. The scene where it just like has her on the dragon, and she's got like the eyes and the beard. She's just... oh, Alexis like jumps up off the couch and is like, yeah, like freaking out. I'm sure everyone was. That's what like, we've been waiting yeah, for, right? Yeah, like, she had oh. a standing ovation for yeah, me for yeah. sure. I think she was a dragon. She, she definitely was. was. And she got after Tyrion a little bit there. I think she's kind of off doing her own thing and it's fire and blood at this point. And then and then Bronn he hits the dragon. Right. Right? So what were you guys thoughts on that? Were you like, oh no, the dragon's gone? Oh my gosh. What you know, let me know. Split second I thought the dragon was dead, but I'm glad I'm glad he wasn't. Luckily it just like kinda hit it on the side, on side yeah. to set up that scene on the ground. Oh. Right? Jamie's charge, right? I was yeah, Jamie's so... charge. Jamie's charge. That was painful to watch, right? Like, it was. Like, I was ready for idiot. Jamie to, to die. Yeah. I was ready for Jamie and I was ready for Braun to die. How much better can the scene get where like Tyrion's there watching, telling him, like, you idiot, you idiot. How can they leave us like that? Like it's table flipping time. Yeah. Like, we don't know if he died, we don't know who they say. Some yeah. say it's Bran, some say it's Dickon that saved them. We don't know. We Bron don't or Dickon, know. we don't yeah. know. We and don't know yet. It just shows him not moving, sinking. Noah Syndergaard was in the episode. He looked awesome. We were fighting Pretty for the sweet. wrong side, but still <laughs> super cool. Go um, Noah, that was awesome. Yes, the game yes, it was awesome. Now going to the wolf pack up north. Yes. Now, yes. Reunited and it <laughs> feels so good. I just think it's so dynamic, right? Like. You have so many different personalities that have like branched off and now they're all coming back together. I think this is awesome. And the Starks were the complete underdog in this, right? But winter's finally coming and they're ready. They've got all these talents now and they're back in Winterfell ready to do some damage. I've always been annoyed seeing Littlefinger and Sansa like together. You almost feel like, does Sansa like want to work with Littlefinger? Like what's the deal here? Is he controlling her? Is he controlling her? But then they have the scene where it's Arya, Bran, and Sansa and Bran showing that Littlefinger gave me this dagger. He's giving it to the the, the perfect assassin, Arya, mm -hmm. my favorite. Which I'm like, yes, now the perfect assassin has the perfect dagger. <laughs> Sansa goes, Littlefinger doesn't give anything without expecting something in return. He never does anything out of the kindness of his heart. You yeah. gotta have the politician. They have the yeah. politician, they have the ninja assassin, they have they have the commander and John. Well, I don't Jones. know how she feels about Arya being and the ninja the assassin. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna foreshadow here. Jon Snow, I like this. He thinks he's a bastard. Jon Snow sees Bran. Bran tells him, hey, guess what? You're Targaryen and you're Stark. You're the perfect, like, fire and ice. Like a song. And Jon Snow all of a sudden is like, oh, I'm okay with love now. Hey, Danny, <laughs> man, okay. you're beautiful. Yeah. Fire, ice, fire, and ice, and a little more fire, double fire. Passion, a lot of passion. Bada boom, bada bing, Game of Thrones, they rule the world, it's all happy. We're, we're living in like a culture changing show right now. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. If you guys want the long version of this episode, head over to youtube.com forward slash Let's Get Lexi. Thanks for watching.